You know, as we are looking at the growth of AI systems and the impact it's making on business, one of the elements that we need to be focused on is how do we raise the game to benefit business and society. One of the key elements uh, as to why I want to discuss this with you all now is you, you all seeing how AI is impacting a lot of the systems that we have in place, how it's making decisions that will help drive profitability for businesses. And as per the tech vision that we published for 2018, we also see that it will be a huge uh, engine in 2023 and above in terms of making significant discovery in life sciences. We also believe by 2025 to 2028, it will you know, probably uh, produce a global blockbuster film. And we also believe that there will be a case for a national or subnational government to ban autonomous vehicles. So why am I bringing these points to you now? So if you really look at it, why businesses need to acknowledge AI as impact and obviously raise the game is a lot of the elements of AI is about how it learns uh, and makes autonomous decisions. It's all based on the data that you feed into it, and obviously without human intervention. Somebody will say, what's the problem with that? Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. You know, we don't want humans to intervene, and it, it needs to be that way. Uh, what we have seen is biases and risks will start to uh, creep into these systems. So, so what's the problem? Somebody will say, well, what's the big deal? Tell me exactly what's the problem. So if you really look at, uh, I'll give you a simple example. Take any translation engine. If you just say she's a doctor, he's in the house, uh, and you translate it to Turkish, you bring it back from Turkish to English, it will say she's in the house, he's a doctor. And this is happening in our translation systems now. And if you really look at a lot of the uh, uh, you know, legal and ethical issues around how algorithms are deciding. There have been issues whether you, know, you take a, a police software which is identifying high risk, uh, uh, you know, I would say it's showing pictures and identifying who of these are of high risk. You'll be surprised in terms of how the existing systems categorize specific uh, sets of people are people with bias of high risk of theft or other activities. Uh, which is kind of proliferating into a lot of decision-making systems. Uh, say, for example, tomorrow, if you want to go for a home loan, uh, and obviously there's a lot of data that is being used to come up with these approval systems or advisory systems that's out there, would you want to be at risk of being categorized as a default based on, obviously, the lot of data that has been used to develop these systems? And that is the bias that I'm talking about, is do we want to perpetuate a lot of the human biases that we have into the systems that we're going to develop for the future? And if, you know, with humans, it's easy to replace. You know, if somebody is making a biased decision, we have existing systems and norms in place to address that. So the question that becomes, what are we going to do for a lot of these AI advisory systems that are going to be out there, obviously deciding today, tomorrow, and in the future, do we want those biases? Do we want those? Uh, elements of uh, issues to perpetuate. I think uh, Meredith today talk, talked about some of the elements of it, and that's specifically the area that we want to focus on, that yes, we want to build all these systems, yes, they need to make autonomous decisions, uh, yes, uh, they need to evolve without human intervention, but we need to make sure that they evolve without all the biases we come with, and obviously with uh, reducing the amount of risk that we see with these systems. Um, now, you know, the way we look at it is we need to raise these AI systems as we raise a child. Why do I say that? The machine learning elements in terms of how they learn, in terms of how they communicate with the conversational agents, in terms of how they make unbiased decisions as they decide, specific elements of business decisions or even decisions that a government would use to recommend or deny services to you, it has to reflect a lot of our values that comes with that. And for businesses, they have to adhere to the norms and uh, regulations that come with it. Um, the question is, you know, all these are problems that we are talking about. Is there a way to kind of break into it and see what we can do to address it? Yes, the, there are issues that are out there, but most of these uh, have been visible to a lot of us, and this is something that we want to make an attempt to address some of these issues. Um, essentially, what we are trying to do with this is we have come out with the construct of teach and test in terms of how do we teach and test, uh, teach these AI systems to obviously have uh, you know, neutralized biases to the existing data sets that you have, how do we ensure that the algorithms uh, are being addressed by uh, some elements of metamorphic uh, you know, algorithms that we have, 
Uh, how do we ensure that uh, these systems that you have, which are already live or which are going to be developed, uh, we, we want to uh, share with you some of our uh, views on how we can address some of the biases that are out there and, uh, and, and address and build, a, 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 I would say, a responsible AI system that's out there. And we want to raise the game of AI. And uh, that's, that's the uh, specific area of uh, interest that we have today. And uh, we are at our booth at 109. We'll uh, share with you some of our ideas in how we are addressing this. Thank you very much.